Cheryl Underwood has been a stand-up comic since the 80s, hitting the big screen in Bullworth and Beauty Shop, and later going on to co-host The Talk in 2011. But behind her infectious permagrin lies a personal history that many of her diehard fans don't know. Here's the tragic, real-life story of Cheryl Underwood. Devastating Losses Underwood was dealt her earliest tragedy when her twin sister died soon after the pair were born prematurely. She revealed on the talk that she even carries her sister's birth certificate with her, decades later. But that wouldn't be the only loss the TV star would suffer. Underwood told Inside Edition that her husband Michael had been suffering from clinical depression when he took his own life in 1990. When you lost your husband, did you ask yourself questions? Was it me? Did, what did I have do? done anything? What did I do? I, I, um, I asked all those questions. While filming her very first episode of The Talk, Underwood opened up about her husband's passing, which she's bravely shared with viewers ever since. There's nothing you can do about it now, and that pain does not, it doesn't go away. If you or anyone you know is having suicidal thoughts, please call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 1-800-273-TALK. That's 1-800-273-8255. Surviving an Attack just after college, Underwood joined the Air Force Reserves in order to escape her family. But on her way to the reserve station, she was attacked and brutally raped. Underwood recalled on the talk that she kept thinking, This ain't it. I am not going to die today. I refuse to die today. It's not going down like this. So the only thing I thought was, what do I do to survive? Then she began negotiating with her attacker, saying, I start talking to the guy and I said, don't do this this way. Whatever you're going to do, finish what you're doing. Don't kill me. And don't take my ID. They'll find you. After fighting back tears, Underwood shared, I really want women to understand. Don't ever let anybody take your power away from you. Healing from Abuse Underwood shared on the talk that she endured sexual abuse as a child in her family's home where she witnessed domestic violence and experienced neglect. She remembered, I went through that at three, four, five years old. I didn't sleep. I learned how to stay up as long as I could. I may sleep at school because nobody is going to protect me, so I had to protect myself. But Underwood had other people in her corner who helped her heal from the trauma. She said on her show, I thank God that uh, I had people intercede in my life so I didn't destroy my life and end up incarcerated. Stronger than ever. Despite the tragedy in her past, Underwood told People, Everything I went through made me stronger. You may never forget it, but in remembering it, you should make it better for the next person. In an interview with Inside Edition, Underwood said that she's now focusing on telling her story in the hopes of helping others. In claiming her past, Underwood has been able to shed the title of victim and become the epitome of a survivor. You can go on. As long as you're still alive, as long as you're above ground, you can go on. Thanks for watching. Click the Nikki Swift icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out this other cool stuff we know you'll love too.